paint color for the wall. Oh, hi everybody. Got the paint color for the wall. We decided on that one, which I think is called peach. Actually, let me turn it around this way. It is called, where's the color? Sweet as a peach. And we're gonna paint this wall here. Okay, so we have it prepped. I have the section I want painted trimmed out because we're painting the back wall. I don't think I'm going to change that, although I often do. We'll see how it goes. Tape lined up, old curtains down, ladder, paint supplies. So we are ready, or I am ready, to rock and roll and get this done. Look at that beautiful peachy color. This is going to be such a beautiful contrast. I'm so excited. And I'm actually going to use my extra dowel to stir it because I left the stir in the car. And I am not going to go back out and get it. So, paint, dowel, stir. So, right now, I am sitting on the floor. That's why this angle is weird. I have done all of the trim all toward the ceiling. That was the toughest. And sorry about the noise in the background because you probably hear my husband and daughter watching a football game. But I am doing the rest of this because I'm painting the trim just on this side of the wall. Um, and I am painting the trim down here as well so that this entire side, including the trim, will be this beautiful peach color so I have my brush here and um, I can't really set up the camera because I again don't feel like it but <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just right now working in this paint as best I can around the trim like this and I'm going to be doing the bottom as well again like I showed you earlier and once that gets done it'll take me about 30 more minutes then I'll take this big brush and I will do the wall and then we will see how the first coat looks. Right now it doesn't seem to me that it will need a second coat but I'll determine that after I do the um, rest of the wall. Okay so a quick tip is I actually use this touch up brush and roller when I'm painting a wall to get in between the tight spaces. So as I get ready to paint the rest of this stuff all the way up to the ceiling, I just wanted to share that real quick. So I'll just roll this way with the um, touch-up roller and then to get in tight spaces right here, I'll use it going in the opposite direction. So if you didn't know that before, that's another thing you can do to get that smooth look is use a touch-up roller. Okay, so we are going to show you how it looks so far on this side. <sighs> oh my God, it is gorgeous. Let me see if I can step back a little bit so you guys can see the difference. Oh my God, that is going to be so beautiful. So I just have to do this side, but as you can see, that side is done and it's just, I mean, it's stunning. The color is fantastic and it plays really well with the coloring in this side of the room because they are some of that pinkish, it sets in some of the artwork as well. So that's why in order to pull some of those colors in the artwork on that side of the room, we painted the wall this color on this side of the room. Oh my God, y'all, the paint the wall is finished it let me step back again we don't have any lights in here here let me turn the lights on i don't know how it's gonna read because this is a warm light so let me turn this light on it'll help a little bit better but oh my god can you imagine with the green velvet curtains go back up i'm gonna order a gold curtain rod tonight actually but it's beautiful now tonight before I do the final reveal, I do have to do some minor touch-ups, like right about there with some white paint, clean that up. I have to touch up the top of the window trim, because obviously, as you see, we're not painting that. And if you can see over this side, there is a 
a little spot on the wall but not not many mistakes I don't think not many but I'm gonna take my acrylic white paint so I can take my fine really tiny paintbrush and fix it but otherwise it is gorgeous and one other thing I will try to do is see if this brand Valspar has the same color paint and the spray paint because what I would paint all over my finger what I would like to do is take these off these plates and spray paint them the same color as the wall so I'm not sure if that's possible so we'll we'll try it out and see but otherwise it's beautiful it's one more thing before we go we are still working on cleaning that up but my husband was able to get most of the paint off the floor and this is how Gabby's bathroom looks so far I mean it's kind of tiny so it's a little hard to get in there but as you see, we have her stool there. This is set up nice. Let me walk on in. I may use the mistake to just hold extra hand towels and face towels for her bath. Um, and right there, I went ahead and these are all new towels too. So she's graduated to big kid towels. But the um, hooks that I custom made are working out perfectly. This is where her bath towel resides and my little niece picked out her shower curtain. So there it is. And she still has her little flower arrangement. So Gabby's bathroom is coming along really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to get another update. Hopefully we'll have Gabby's mirror completed soon. And I will talk to you guys later.